Hello and welcome to Financial Intelligence. In this video, I want to discuss if Bitcoin is really decentralized or not. Bitcoin has become the most well-known cryptocurrency in the world. It is a huge chain that supports millions of users and billions of transactions. Many supporters of the project cite decentralization as a reason for adoption. I am going to share with you three reasons why I am convinced that Bitcoin is not really decentralized. If you like the type of content that I provide on this channel, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Bitcoin is a digital currency, a decentralized system that records transactions in a distributed ledger called a blockchain. Other participants in the Bitcoin market can buy or sell tokens through cryptocurrency exchanges or peer-to-peer. -peer. In blockchain, decentralization refers to the transfer of control and decision-making from a centralized entity like individuals, organizations, or groups to a distributed network. I am in full support of decentralization and preventing centralized entities, including the governments, from exerting their control over the financial system. Blockchain technology provides a platform to create decentralization. However, the Bitcoin project might not be as decentralized as some may say. This begs the question, is Bitcoin really decentralized? Let me give you one example to show why Bitcoin is not really decentralized. The example is very simple. Any asset that can lose 25% of its value overnight is not decentralized. As you all might be aware by now, on December 4th, Bitcoin dropped by 25% overnight from about $55,000 to $40,000 give or take. Such a drastic drop overnight is a clear indication of some sort of market manipulation. In my opinion, any asset or any project that can be manipulated to this extent is not decentralized. This price drop shows that there are entities out there who exert massive control over the value of Bitcoin. They can impose their will over the will of millions of other people who own small amounts of Bitcoin. This is the definition of centralization and is exactly the opposite of decentralization. Simply put, the market manipulation techniques deployed by crypto whales slash haters, crypto exchanges, and crypto market makers clearly indicate that Bitcoin is not really decentralized. There are many powerful people who do not like Bitcoin and the philosophy behind it, to say the least. These people have not been shy about expressing their true feelings about Bitcoin either. For example, in one of his interviews, Bill Gates said, and I quote here, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are kind of a pure, greater full theory type of investment. I will add the link to his interview in the description box below so that you can access it. As another example, Charlie Munger stated in one of his recent interviews that, and I quote, Of course I hate the Bitcoin success. I think I should say modestly that the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. Of course these folks have accumulated their power by mastering the game of money. They want to preserve the status quo that rewarded them and granted their power. The source of their power is the current financial system and they will be crazy to encourage any changes to the current system. They will do their best to fight and disrupt the new financial product, in other words, Bitcoin, that threatens their source of power. In the following segments of this video, I want to unpack the roles crypto whales slash haters crypto exchanges and crypto market makers play in preventing the Bitcoin market to be decentralized. Number one, crypto whales slash crypto haters. Cryptocurrencies are about financial freedom, free from the structures and barriers of the opaque old economy. However, the same principles could lead to the downfall of Bitcoin. That is because in the unregulated crypto world today, Anonymous people with large holdings, in other words, whales, can act with impunity. 
Additionally, the very same people who dislike the new decentralized financial system can enter the market and use market manipulation techniques to disrupt it. These types of market manipulations will create the image that the Bitcoin market is a hot mess and has massive problems, thereby eroding the confidence of market participants. Some might argue that the Bitcoin market is too big to be manipulated. However, I do not think that is the case. At the time of recording this video, the total Bitcoin market cap was about $1 trillion. This is not a huge sum of money compared to the wealth accumulated by the individuals like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger who disliked the new emerging financial system. A well-coordinated pump and dump strategy orchestrated by a handful of ultra-wealthy traders could create massive volatility in the Bitcoin market. Number 2. Crypto Exchanges There is also the problem of the conflict of interest between cryptocurrency exchanges and cryptocurrency investors. Studies reveal that the trading volumes of most cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are non-economic and fake. The cryptocurrency exchanges purposely manipulate data to attract investors to their desired trading platforms. That is because those exchanges generate more revenue when the volume of transactions increases due to higher volatility. Therefore, exchanges are incentivized to create and fuel market volatility, which is another reason why Bitcoin is not really decentralized. Number 3. Crypto Market Makers Today, crypto markets have grown more than they were before. Sophisticated products have been introduced including leveraged derivatives and spots that are commonly used by manipulators. Leveraged products are known to exaggerate the decrease or increase in prices and, and these are used by influential traders for manipulation. Furthermore, in markets that are leveraged, huge losses for some investors mean profits for others. Therefore, market makers have every incentive to artificially create price fluctuations that would force some investors to liquidate their positions and suffer huge losses as a result of margin calls. Market makers have access to the order books that grants them excessive power and control over the market. Therefore, market makers are another reason why Bitcoin is not as decentralized as described. In summary, I believe that Bitcoin is not really decentralized. There is a huge amount of money to be made using different market manipulation techniques deployed by crypto whales, crypto haters, crypto exchanges, and crypto market makers. The recent 25% drop in the price of Bitcoin is a clear indication that these forces are in full control of the Bitcoin market. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any question or comment, add them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you and take care.